On the one hand, we have Ben, a successful businessman in Rungai, who trades between Uganda and Kenya. And on the other, we have Musa Baraka, the father to Zawadi, who is 16 years old. Ben Mali is being tied with a defilement contrary to Section 8, subsection 104 of the Sexual Offences Act. The offence of indecent act with a child, contrary to section 11, subsection 1. Ben Mali was arraigned in court yesterday, where he pleaded not guilty. Did he have sex with Zawadi? I choose to assume so, but I uh, will get it from him. Why are we defending a sexual predator? Because Zawadi's father supposedly forces his daughter to have sex with friends and men in the village for goods and cash. He pimps his own child? Yes, but we'll have to establish that in court to the magistrate's satisfaction. Remember, he who alleges has the burden of proof. This man deserves to be arrested and Zawadi made a word of state. Let me handle this case. I've covered several cases of uh, sexual offences. Not this time. Elsie, I want you to take on the case. It will give you the experience you deserve. And uh, also, I want a woman to represent uh, Ben Mali. It will add more weight. Thanks. The challenge you will have is uh, getting witnesses to testify that Zawadi's father was prostituting his own daughter. Well, Best of luck. Give me a paste, and Mali can be quite demanding. Pauline, please call Ben Mali and have him meet me this afternoon at 2 p.m. Ask him to come with all his witnesses plus any documentary evidence he may possess. Thanks. What are you frowning about? Nothing. Just looking at your work. I didn't know it was that interesting. Elsie, you need help with that case. And I'm offering my unsolicited support and experience. Considering your limited experience with sexual offenses. Don't you mean sexual matters? I'm serious. I know, but no thanks. Marco handed me this case. He has full confidence in my abilities. I know what you're up against. How about availing me some of the leading cases? I'd like to have a look at the precedents. How about I give you my wise counsel and experience? How about wise counsel? Didn't I just ask you for case files and journals? Find them in the library. I am winning this case.
My name is Ben Murray. You must be Elsie Kamona. I was told I would find you here. Yes, I am. Yeah. I've been waiting for you. Thank you. Please have a seat. Can I offer you anything? Tea, coffee, some water? Thanks. Just had a meal. A glass of water will be good. I've had a brief look at your file, and I would like to get your story. I'd like you to know that anything we discuss here is confidential and will, it will not leave this office. Okay. On that note, I would like you to be open and honest with me. I'll go straight to the point. What is your position on the allegations of defilement? I will be very honest with you. I had sex with a girl. But only once, and that's about seven months ago. Were you aware that she was 16 years old? No. Not until much later. Go on. Guess what? She looks very beautiful. Doesn't look like she's 16. Especially after I had had some few drinks. That often happens. Plus, her father, Musa Baraka, encouraged me. Do you remember the exact date that you were intimate with Zawadi? I can't remember the exact date. How much did you give her father? Uh, I bought him nine bottles of beer and a bottle of vodka. Uh, plus some cash, I can't remember, but about 2,000 shillings. You say he prostituted her. Do you have any friends or any people who can testify to this? Yes. Yes, I have. Several other men had slept with her. Musa Baraka has heads of goats. She have got from the sale of her daughter. Heads of goats? Do you have the contacts of any of these men and would they be okay if I called them in? Yes. Even I, I caught some of them yesterday. Good. Hi. You're looking gorgeous as usual. You know, the color and the outfit you have really brings out your femininity. I knew you'd like it. Mm. Thank you. So, I was waiting for your call last night. What happened to our usual date? You see, when I got home, mm. my mom kept me in till late because she said I'd had many late nights. So, I had to stay in. But we're on tonight, so don't be late. Great, so we have a date. You know, you won't be going home tonight. I hope you have a change of clothes. <laughs> totally. See you around. This is the last number. So we have Rolai, Mishaki and Tama. Yes. And you're certain they had sex with Zawadi? Yes. Good. I will call them immediately after this meeting. Would that be okay? That's fine. That's fine, Elsie. What would be the sentence if we lost? You will be liable for no less than 15 years imprisonment. 15 years? However, I'm very confident that you have a plausible defense. Okay, thank you. Ben, thank you so much for coming in for this meeting. I will call you if I have any more questions. Thank you very much. Let me show you up.
Oh, Joe, you're the funniest man I've ever met. All for you, sweetie. <laughs> so where are you taking me out tonight? Hmm, that's my secret. Oh, come on. All you need to know is that you're going to have a time to remember, a night that you'll not forget. I'll do things to you that you've never done before. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. No need. I pretty much get the picture. Later. You can't keep your hands off them, can you? But you have to agree with me. She's cute. That's all that matters to you, huh? Hi, am I speaking to Rulai? Rulai, hi, my name is Elsie Kamona. I'm calling you from Mwako and Advocates. Yes, I'm representing your friend Ben Mali. Oh, he's told you about the case? Are you okay coming in to see me tomorrow at 10 a.m.? Good, I'll see you then. See, you've got uh, witnesses now, eh? I'm on a roll. This one is going to be a winner. Are you sure they're going to testify in Mali's favor? Because they, they would be prosecuted for it. I never thought of that. Hi, is this Mishaki? My name is Elsie Kamona. I'm calling you from Mwako and Advocates. I'm representing your friend, Ben Mali. You do know about his case, don't you? Can you come see me tomorrow at 10 a.m.? No, at our offices. Is that good for you? Great. Have a nice day. Here to see Elsie, the Ben Bali case. Okay, great. And I think, uh, Polly, we need that big deal soon. We I'm do. working on it. You sure? First learner. Mr. Marco should have noticed this. You're too new to be coming in late at 10.30 with a hangover. I'm glad the three of you had time to come see me at such short notice. Ben is our friend and we offer you it's unfair for him to be accused of a crime he is not guilty of. He is not really innocent but he is not responsible. From what I understand from Ben, all three of you had sexual relations with Zawadi, and you all paid for it. I have given Musa three goats in the past ten months. A goat to, uh, to ensure that whenever I wanted Zawadi, I'll be given. Well, one goat is equivalent to two week reception in a month. Uh, I have been with her so many times. Okay. I even lost count. Okay, you said three goats. I used to give him um, vegetables and maize from my shamba. Three months ago, I gave him a whole sack of maize. 
I just buy him alcohol for my son. I own a club called My Choice Club in Rongai. Did any of you know that she was underage? She's 16 years old, right? No, Tiriari. She doesn't look like a teenager. She has a body of a fully grown woman. You should see her. Thank you. Would you be willing to testify to this in a court? What would happen if we testify? A friend of mine told me if I testify to this, I will be admitting that I defiled Zawande and could go to jail. That is possible, but you have a very good defense. You had no idea that she was underage. I don't want to go to jail. I understand. The chances are high that neither of you, including Ben, will go to jail. You were all victims of a very sick man's mind. We will, we, will, we will consider it. We will consider it. Okay. In the matter of the state versus Ben Man, is uh, the prosecution ready to call witnesses? Yes, we are, Your Honor. Very good. <clears throat> Please call your first witness. The prosecution calls Musa Baraka, Zawadi's father. I do. Good morning, Mr. Baraka. Good morning. Please, uh, please state your full names for the record. Musa Baraka. Mr. Baraka, are you a family man? Yes, I am married with four children. My eldest daughter, Zawadi, is the reason why we are here. How old is Zawadi? She will be 17 next month. What happened to Zawadi? First of all, I would like to tell the court that uh, my beloved daughter Zawadi is a slow learner. She's about five years behind girls of her age. In other words, she's an imbecile? Yes. Go on. I am in control of every aspect of her life. I mean every aspect of her life. <sighs> this is a bit too hard for me. Please, take your time. About four months ago, her mother informed me that uh, Zawa did not get her monthly period. I was very concerned, but I didn't know how to ask her, considering the fact that uh, she is mentally challenged. What did you do? I had her mother to carry out a home pregnancy test, which was positive. So I had to ask her what happened. What did Zawadi say? She told me that uh, my friend, Ben Mali, had taken her to his house where he did, he did, he, I just can't say it. Where he defiled your daughter. Objection. Yes. Do I have to remind the prosecutor my client is innocent until proven guilty? Sustained. Prosecution. Do you need the help with your job? What 
what did uh, Zawadi tell you what happened in the accused's house? She said she had had sexual relations with her and did so for several times. So what did you do? I went to see Ben with some elders. I told Ben that he had either to marry my daughter, for she had already broken her virginity, or pay a traditional fine of four goats, two cows, and money for the child's upkeep. What did he say? Ben denied ever touching my daughter. She called her Maria, and that she deserved what she got. What did you do? Well, since he refused his responsibility, I had to seek the help of the police. And that's when he was arrested and brought before the court. Thank you, Buana Musa. That is all, Your Honor. The defense? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Baraka, I'm just curious. Why did you opt to handle the matter of Zawadi's pregnancy traditionally instead of immediately reporting it to the police as a defilement case? I am a cultural person and I have brought up my daughter in the same manner. Even in cases of defilement? Yes, the police have their role and Wazes have theirs too. Isn't the actual reason why you reported this match to the police at the last minute to frame my client for refusing to sleep with your daughter, therefore denying you the opportunity to make money from such an arrangement? Objection, Your Honor. Your Honor, my client had just returned from Uganda with a lot of money, which Mr. Musa wanted a portion of. Argumentative. Sustain. Stick to facts. Yes, Your Honor. Musa, just satisfy my curiosity. Was this the first time you had sought pregnancy compensation for Zawadi's pregnancy? Well, another time it was a false alarm. False alarm? <laughs> well, you just said your daughter was a virgin. No further questions, Your Honor. <laughs> or die in the court. Too bad yourself. <laughs> David is my successor. He's taken after me in every way. David? Yes. Marco and company advocates yours for the take. I want you to carry the Marco name and take it to a high level in the next generation. Jeez. Thanks, Dad. I will make you proud. That I'm sure you will. <laughs> Jeff? Zawadi. Do you know why you're here? Yes, it is because I have a big stomach with a baby. Do you know how you got a big stomach with a baby? Yes, it's because Uncle Ben slept on me. Hmm. Who is Uncle Ben? That one. Where did Uncle Ben sleep on you? On the chair in his house. What were you doing in Uncle Ben's house? He had asked me to go and pick some present for me and my family. And did he give you a present? Yes, he gave me lessons, 
and some money and then he told me not to tell anyone our secret and he would give me more money. Mm. Did you tell anyone? No. I'm good at keeping secrets. Thank you, Zawadi. You're very brave and a good girl. Sir, you may proceed with your cross-examination. Thank you, my lord. Zawadi, I just have to ask you a few questions. Do you go to school? Yes, I'm in class 7 and my mother said I'll go to secondary school very soon. Just read hard. Now, you say you went to Mr. Mali's house to pick up some presents. Yes. And he gave you a lesson. Yes, and some money. And then he slept on you. Yes. And you kept it a secret. Yes. Tell me another secret, Zawadi. Who else has slept on you? Objection. That is unfair to the witness. I will rephrase the question. Zawadi, just tell me the truth. What you did with Mr. Mali, have you done it with someone else? Yes, but my stomach did not swell. And did your daddy know? I tell daddy all my secrets. And what did your daddy do? My daddy went to that house and he was given beer and food and goods. I'm sorry, Zawadi. No further questions, Your Honor. Zawadi, please go back and sit. Hey, another round of this. Maxwell, get yourself together. Dad will be here any moment. <laughs> but I'm simply celebrating his birthday. I just don't want the two of you fighting. <laughs> Give me an orange juice. There you go. Please, no fight. Today is Dad's birthday. Mo! Okay. I do. Please tell this court how you know the complainant. Your Honor, I know Zawadi as a daughter to my drinking friend, Baraka Musa. Hmm. Have you had sexual relations with her? Uh, yes. When was this? About six months ago. This is when I last came from Uganda. Until about two months ago, I have been, I have, I traveled a lot. So how is it that Musa and Zawadi claim that you are responsible for her pregnancy, which is three months old? I don't know. It's a setup to extort money from me. Why? Last time when I came from Uganda, I was having a drink with my friends where Musa came with Zawadi in the bar. Musa said I could have her for the night if I gave him money and bought him drink. So what did you do? I was not interested. Musa had been pushing me to marry her daughter. And, as he said, to do a favor to a friend. Really? Yes, he can be very pushy. And I am not the only targeted son-in-law. He has given the same offer to many. I know, in my presence. You spoke of Uganda. How long were you there? The last time I was in Kenya is about five months ago. 
Your Honor, I would like to submit copies of entry dates in Kenya by my client to prove the same. I submit Exhibit 1. Accepted. So Ben, if Zawadi is three months pregnant... Then it can't be me. Thank you, Ben. No further questions, Your Honor. Prosecution, would you like to cross-examine a witness? Yes, Your Honor. Just a few questions. You said that uh, you had sex with Zawadi. Yes, only once, which I regret. You regret that she got pregnant? No, the pregnancy is not mine. So, what do you regret? What happened? I thought she is over 18, as she told me that she had finished school. You saw her here. She don't look 16. Did you ask for an ID? You see... No, please, just answer the question. No, I didn't, but... Uh... Thank you very much. That is all, Your Honor. Yes, Ms. Kamana? Just a brief re-examination. Proceed. Why didn't you ask her for an ID? I did not find it necessary. She had told me that she had finished school and she was working in a salon. This was in the presence of his father and I believed them both. No further questions, Your Honor. All right. Do you have any other witnesses, Ms. Kamana? No, Your Honor. Very well. The court will have a brief recess of 15 minutes before closing submissions. There you are, gentlemen. Jeff, I've just been talking to your wife. We are arranging a cruise ship holiday. It's only 200,000 shillings per head, minus the food and beverages, and I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> just give us the details. I don't want to get involved in the arrangement. Where's Maxwell? Elsie, um. Elsie. What's up, Relay? What are his chances? At this point, I can't tell. It's unfortunate we can't find anyone to back up Ben's story. It is only fair that Musa goes to jail for prostrating his own daughter. Well, I'd like to see that happen, but I have no evidence against him. I'll be a witness. Are you sure? Yes. If it means Musa will be punished, then yes. Thank you, Rulai. You're doing the right thing. I'll call you to testify once court is back in session. Okay? Okay. Let me go prepare for your testimony. Thank you. Are you sure what you're doing? I'm yes, I am. Sure, I'm yeah. even surprised. I'm sure. surprised. I asked about Maxwell, and everybody seems to have forgotten. Well, hmm. I last saw him at the pub. The pub? Where else could he be? Why am I not surprised? Marco, Marco, just wait, huh? <clears throat> the court is ready to hear closing submissions. My lord, I would like to bring in a new witness who just came in. Cancer. I don't like such surprises. But his testimony will shed a light on this case. All right. Make it brief. Four minutes. Thank you, Your Honor. The defense calls Mr. Rolai. It's not 
not yet afternoon. And you're as drunk as... Ah, as come on, Dad. I'm simply celebrating your birthday, I mean. That's the idea, right? Celebrating my birthday. By drinking 6,000 shillings chill in two out, hours? Chill out, old man. Chill out, you! Moko, Moko. Total disgrace. He's only drunk, Moko. We're going home now. So sick. <laughs> Rulai, why did you come forward at this last minute? I just want justice to be done. Do you know the parties involved in this case? Yes, I know Ben and Musa, and their daughter Sawandi even better. Do you care to elaborate? Musa drinks a lot in our local pump in Lungai. He is sometimes accompanied by Sawandi, who I was shocked to run was his real daughter. And why is that? Please carry on. He used to offer her to us and ask us to pay a small fee. What? He mzee amefanya hiyo mchana yake kuwa maraya. Hata sisi amefanya tu sisi wazee tu waonekane maraya. Silence. Asante Rolai. No further questions, Your Honor. Prosecution. Rulai, you were sitting here in court earlier. You decided to remain quiet. Why now? Ben, amekuwa hidi pesangapi. Objection, Your Honor. Usijibu hiyo swali. That is all, Your Honor. I will put uh, Mr. Rulai's... Uh testimony into consideration. Mr. Rolai, please have a seat. And now the court is open to closing submissions. Prosecution. Your Honor, Ben Mali defiled that young girl. That is not debatable. He took advantage of the fact that she is mentally challenged. He's not repentant. And now he's looking for all manner of excuses. Oh, I was drunk. Oh, her father encouraged me. Oh, I thought she was above 18. Your Honor, I urge the court to find this man guilty as charged. To serve as an example to other men who take advantage of young innocent girls, especially those who are mentally handicapped. Your Honor, when Mr. Ben Mali realized that he is definitely going to jail, he asked his friend, Mr. Rolai, to perjure himself risking facing a jail sentence. Your Honor, this is a desperate man. Your Honor, Ben Mali is a businessman who spends most of his time in Uganda. A glance at his passport can readily confirm that. He made an error in judgment, which led to intimacy with Zawadi, a minor, while believing her to be an adult. My client was later shocked and distressed to find out that she was indeed a minor. My client is not callous. He made the requisite inquiry into the age of the girl. But all his efforts were thwarted by a chain of lies. First, the girl deceives my client that she is finished with school and working in a salon. This is confirmed by the father, who we have since established had ulterior motives. My client was reasonably convinced 
that she was above the age of 18. Your Honor, this court should find my client innocent. And instead, the person who should be prosecuted for inter alia endangering the welfare of a minor is Musa Baraka. Thank you. This is the judgment of the court. The accused is charged with the offense of defilement of a minor, contrary to section 8, part 1, subsection 4 of the Sexual Offenses Act 2006. A review of the evidence leaves no doubt that there was a sexual liaison between the accused and the complainant. However, the accused has raised a defense and led evidence to support his contention that he reasonably believed the child was over the age of 18 years. I find his evidence credible and proceed to acquit him accordingly. The court is concerned for the safety of Zawadi Baraka, who from the testimonies heard in court has been rather unfortunate. I direct the prosecutor to contact the relevant authorities and have these matters investigated. This matter is far from finished for you. Police to carry out a comprehensive investigation on the claims of child prostitution. In the meantime, Zawadi will be placed under state custody where she will also receive psychological and physical treatment. The court is adjourned. Thank you. Hello. Oh, good evening. Good evening too. Okay. How can I help you? Yeah, I'm looking for Elsie Kamona. Oh, she's not in at the moment, but I can take a message. Please. Okay. Thank you. I'll give it to her she comes in. Okay. Okay. Mm, pleasure is all mine. Well, I don't understand why you have to leave so early. I have to go pick up my son. Hey, Pauline. There's a parcel dropped in for you from Obuto Advocates. All right, just open it and tell me what it's about. What is it about? Elsie. What is it? It's a someone by the court regarding Jabali. It's a custody hearing. Oh. Are you okay, Elsie? I'm coming. Okay. So, what am I seeing? 